Beth Finn's awareness of the so-called breast cancer gene, or BRCA for short, didn't come from actress Angelina Jolie. It came from her mom. Beth and her twin sister were about three years old when their mom was first diagnosed with breast cancer. At the time, they didn't have genetic testing, so she had one breast removed, and then about nine years ago, she was diagnosed on the other side with breast cancer. So she decided to go ahead and have the genetic testing done to see, you know, was she prone to this? And sure enough, she's positive, BRCA2 positive. Beth's identical twin also tested positive for the breast cancer gene, so Beth knew the chances were she had it too. We kind of knew for me it was a matter of when am I going to get this, not if I get this. Her instinct was right. I was at work when I found out about um, the BRCA2 results. Um, that was tough. And that was just the beginning. While pregnant with her son Riley, an ultrasound spotted a problem. Next, what Beth says was the scariest part, a lumpectomy while pregnant. And I got the news that not only was the spot malignant, but they couldn't tell if um, it had spread. Seven surgeries later, including a double mastectomy, Beth is cancer-free, healthy, and happy with her eight-month-old son and husband, Steve. It is terrifying. You can't sugarcoat that. Everything about this experience is scary, but I'm alive. As to what advice Beth gives others, she echoes what she heard about getting tested for the BRCA gene from a CNN anchor with a similar family history of breast cancer. Just because you're scared, it's not going to stop it. If you're going to get it, you're going to get it. Yeah. Beth remains positive, but she knows her fight may not be over. Women with the BRCA gene also have a high risk for ovarian cancer. And yet, she's not complaining. She and her family have already beat some major odds. You know, think about the future if you, took, if you talk about what the best case scenario was, you know, we're actually living it right now. There's probably uh, nothing that we would want to change about right now. Lena Vargas, SNN Local News.